This music that you just saw the intro is completely AI generated. Thanks to a new open source project from Meta AI that's called Music Gen and you can generate AI generated music, remix music and you can do like a lot of things, heck a lot of things using Music Gen from Meta AI. In fact, this entire thing is so viral on internet at this moment. The GitHub repository of Kamen Drew who's who is very kindly providing all these Google Collab notebooks is currently trending and also music gen people have been generating a lot of music using music gen and then sharing this before I jump into the actual demo of showing you how to generate the music I would like to show some light or shed some light on the paper the paper says simple and controllable music generation this is this, that's all the paper says and it's from Meta AI, as you can see. And uh, very surprisingly, it's a single large language model. It's not multiple models stacked together. It's a single large language model that is generating music. So it's uh, it's operate it operates over several streams of compressed discrete music representation, like tokens. This is in a text model. The token is the text part, and in this music model, the token is the music representation. And unlike the prior work, like what before music gen, music gen is a single stage transformer, large language model. And uh, that is what is quite impressive about this thing. And Facebook, very surprisingly, once again, has open sourced everything related to this. Uh, these can produce really high quality samples. And also another good thing about this music gen is one, you can generate music just from the text condition. So it can be uh, music can be completely generated from textual description or melodic futures. Like if you have. So the greatest thing about music gen is that it can generate high quality samples, music samples while being conditioned on textual description. This is something that we have all learned from the stable diffusion world. You give a prompt, it can generate something in this case a music that's closely aligned with the prompt. But what it can also do is it can also align with the melodic features. So if you have upload an audio, it can condition based on the melodic features of the audio. So that gives you better control about what kind of output you want. And this is quite what people do with remix. So you can take a music like an interstellar music and then try to do remix out of it using AI. This they, they did some evaluation and they, they considered it to be really superior to any basic text to music benchmark that is available. But leaving that all aside, now I'm going to take you to the repository. So one, you can go to the audio craft repository from Facebook research and then start using it in Google Collab or Hugging Face Spaces. But if you want to generate really longer ones, like if you want to generate really longer ones, you can go to Kemendru's amazing repository where it has got a multiple Google Collab notebooks. So it says uh, 120 seconds melody and medium, small, large. Now, what are these things? So these are different models. So you can see there is a melody, the, the model that aligns with the melody where you can also upload an audio and then align it with that. And then you have got different benchmarks like a medium, small and large model. If you want to know the description of these things, you can actually go to the hugging face repository, uh, sorry, the model repository and you will get to know the details. The large model is a 3.3 billion parameter model. The melody model is a 1.5 billion parameter model and it can do two things. One text to music and also text plus melody to music. That's what is the conditional alignment with melody in itself. This is like image to image in your stable diffusion world. And then you have got the 1.5 billion parameter model, which is the medium model. And you have got the 300 million model, which is a small model. So you can select the model that you prefer. And uh, I, the music that you listened at the start of this video that was created from the 1.5 billion parameter model. So now how do you run this? You have to go to this repository from Kemen Drew. Like I said, you can go to Hugging Face, sorry, you can go to Hugging Face Spaces and generate also, or you can go to the main repository from Google, uh, from Facebook, and then you can generate also. You can, you can do either of these things. But what I would advise you is to go to this amazing repository from Kemen Drew. It's called Music Gen Collab. If you go here, you would see different collabs and different description about all these collabs. So you can try out different things. So this collab allows you to generate 600 seconds. This collab allows you to generate 120 seconds. What I'm going to show you is the latest update, which is from Clown of Madness collab. This is once you click the open and collab and then all you have to do is click run all. Once you click run all at the end, you will get this public URL, which is a Gradio link. And once you click the Gradio link, you will be greeted with this interface. 
I'm going to quickly take you through this interface. Um, you might be already familiar with this. This is where you give the input text and this is where you upload an MP3 or a melody if you want to, it to be conditioned on that. Like if you want music to music or remix, then this is where you need to upload it. If you want just the text, you can upload it here. And then once you click generate, it's going to generate this, which you can also download as a MP4 file. You can, if you want, you can download it as an MP4 with this animation, the, the dancing bars. But if you do not want, then you can just listen to it. It also gives you the seed value based on which this music is generated. So if you want to reproduce the same thing with the same model, with the same settings, you can use the seed value and you get to select the melody here. So what melody you want, what medium, sorry, the model here, the melody model, the medium model, the small model, the large model also make sure that you have enough compute. So I have tested this on melody model, which is like the 1.5 billion parameter model and it worked pretty fine on Google collab. And if you want a different background image, then you can use the background image here, right here. So that, you know, the image is generated, the music MP4 is generated with that background. And you have got the basic settings that you have with any large language model here, a temperature, top K and P, top P. One of the most important thing here is the CFG classifier free guidance. It helps the model align with the condition, whatever you're giving, whether the text or the image. So it makes the model generate the music as close as possible to the text that you have given. And it also plays with the creative freedom. So if you want to do remix, this is the place where you would make a lot of changes to make sure that your remix is like literally a remix, not just the original audio in itself. And here is the place where you give the prompt. There are some examples here, but I'm going to like live select one thing and then show you. So I'm going to click five seconds. Okay. Or maybe even three seconds is completely fine. Let's generate something for three seconds. And I'm going to say, what is the music that I want to generate? I'm going to say uh, a futuristic AI world intro. That's, that's what I'm going to do. A futuristic AI world intro. Maybe I can say with drums and piano, just a piano with drums and piano. Okay. I'm pretty bad at music. So that's why my prompt is like complete crap. So probably you would do a better job at it. Click generate. Once you click generate, you know that it's going to take 73 seconds approximately. And at the end of 73 seconds, it's going to generate the music that you want. Um, I think probably it might take lesser time than that. As you can see, it has taken lesser time. We have got a three seconds audio. Let me play it for you. Not bad, huh? honestly speaking, uh, I, if you, if you show this, I'm not a music expert again, like I'm, I, I don't listen to a lot of music, so I do not know the nuances here, but if you show this to me as part of a track, I wouldn't know that this is completely AI generated. And as you can see, this is quite amazing and we can play with this. For example, now we got one particular CFG value, so I can change the CFG value to something like nine and then a futuristic AI world intro with the drums and piano instead of that. I can say electric, electric, an electric, an electric futuristic AI world intro music. Generate, click generate. And then you can see it says that it will take 41 seconds. Uh, but I, I guess I'm not going to edit this part. So when the video is published, you'll get to know actually how much time it takes. This is on free Google Collab Notebook and using Melody. <laughs> this one is not as proper as like what what we generated before but you get the point the point here is that using music gen you can actually generate ai generated music and like i said like it's it's actually viral all over the internet and that's one reason i wanted to make this video huge huge kudos to cam intro who's been amazing in making google collab notebooks for all these things and uh, I, I personally enjoy all the Google collab notebooks from Cam and Drew, So thanks to Cam and Drew. make sure you start the repository. Once again, Facebook is pretty much impressing me all the time with all their new AI open source releases, really grateful. And, um, if you have not watched the recent interview of Mark Zuckerberg with Alex Friedman, you might enjoy that. I've been enjoying that so far. Um, as long as I've listened so far, you can play with the same thing with the hugging face notebook with their official repository, Google Collab, and also Kementru's amazing list of open source notebooks, which you can try out here. So I'll link all the required links in the YouTube description. Make sure you check out just below the like button if you want like and subscribe to the channel. If you found anything interesting while you are practicing with this, please let me know in the comment section. It might also help others. See you in another video. Happy prompting.